Hello everyone and welcome to the 40th Cocoa Programming Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how we can work with NS User Defaults in Cocoa. So, NS User Defaults are a nice way that we can use to store preferences for our application. So, for example, if I was to develop a game for macOS and I wanted to save, you know, the preferences uh, for the game. So I want to save maybe if the game's going to open in a full screen or a windowed mode, maybe uh, the mouse sensitivity for maybe a shooter game or something. Uh, if I wanted to save uh, perhaps the aspect ratio or the resolution size of the window uh, or the screen, I could save all these things as preferences for our application. Now the same thing goes for even in Xcode here, we have a preferences section. And if I wanted to save any of these values for the preferences in our application, we can save these using NS user defaults. And basically the name user defaults just be, it comes from the fact that they are user defined defaults for the application. I can change any of these and they become the new default for the application. So that's basically when we want to use the NS user defaults class is when we're going to save preferences that our application will use every time it's opened and it will save every time they're closed. So the user will expect these certain values to stay the same every time we quit and reopen the application. And that's what user defaults basically are. All right, so in this tutorial, um, what we're gonna be doing is fairly simple. We're not gonna be you know, going too all out and creating a you know, a whole preferences pane for anything, but um, you know, the concepts are the exact same and you can expand as much as you want from this tutorial, I think, into uh, your own purposes. So um, all we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna develop just a nice simple example here of having a text field and a button. Whenever the text or the button is clicked, the text from the text field is going to change the title of our window. So that's really all this application is going to do. It's pretty simple, but uh, I think you'll get enough about how user defaults work and how you can use them to add them to your own application. All right, so now that we have our view all laid out here, just our text field and our button, we can go ahead and use our assistant editor to connect uh, the file or our code to our nib file. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to be using the app delegate class instead of creating a whole app controller, simply because uh, it's easier for this tutorial uh, because it already is going to be the delegate for our window, which you'll see how we can use later. But uh, really, we don't have to create a separate app controller for this either. So anyway, uh, with that said, let's go ahead and use our app delegate again. It's really no different than our app controllers that we do. Be, uh, you know, we're just the app controller really we're just making a separate file the app delegate is going to serve the exact same purpose all right so let's go ahead and connect our text field here we'll make a new outlet and we'll call it our title text field save that and as you can see it's just a weak reference in lion would be a it just would be a, a sign in a snow leopard um, the next part is just making an IB action here. So we'll connect over here, call this an action. Uh, the name of this, we'll just call change title. And there we go. So now we have our change title action and our title text field IB outlet. So now we can go back to, let's just go back to our standard editing view here. Go back to our app delegate.m and we'll get to work on how we can implement our user defaults. So how does this all work? Well, basically, NS user defaults are really just saving a property list in a folder for us, and they're gonna access different values with a key. So uh, very similar, I, I'm sure you've already worked with, uh, I've done a tutorial already on property lists, but in case you forget, they're very similar to NS dictionary where you have a key and some value associated with that key. And so when you ask, uh, in this case, we're going to be asking the NS user defaults for some kind of key and it will return the value associated with it. So we're going to have a key for um, the window title and we're just going to go ahead and pound define this. So we'll pound define k window title 
and we'll just call it window title like so all right so anytime the application is finished launching that's this is going to be the method that's called and this is uh, obviously really useful because here is an excellent spot that we can set up our title and we can read our NS user defaults. So we can set up our application right here. So if we want to say, well, right here, we're going to say window set title and we're going to set it to whatever is in our NS user defaults. So we can do this by asking the NS user defaults class for its standard user defaults. And this is basically this, the way you always access your user defaults just by, by calling this right here. And then to figure out whatever values associated with this key, if you wanna get some kind of object and a string is an object, we can just say object for key and we can pass in K window title. So again, this whole chunk of code right here from here to here is going to simply return the value that's associated with our window title key and it will set it to be whatever our window title will be. So the next part uh, for this is we'll also set up our text field to have this as well. So we'll just set our title text field string value to be the same thing. So uh, we'll just copy this from here and paste it right there. All right, so there we go. Now, whenever our application loads, we're gonna use our NS user defaults. We're gonna figure out what our window title is. It's gonna return that string object and set it both in our window title and our text fields string value. All right, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and implement our change title action as well. Um, the change title action is just gonna take whatever is in our text field and it's going to set it to our window. So we're just gonna say window set title, and we'll just take our text fields. So title text field string value. There we go. So uh, now that that's done, uh, another step that we can do is figure out how we're going to save these values. So we've already figured out how we load up the values, which are right here. We load up these values by setting them in the uh, both of those IB outlets. And then, um, of course, we have to have some way of storing these, though, in our user defaults. So let's say that we're going to store these values every time the application is quit. So we get uh, from our window any time that the application is going to quit, we get an application will terminate message call. So basically, for this, we can just go ahead and say, well, we'll save whatever the title text fields value is into our user defaults. So we'll just say NS user defaults, standard defaults, and we will set an object. And this object, of course, is just gonna be the string value in our title text field. So we'll ask our title text field for its string value. And we'll take the key that we're gonna to try to replace. So we'll say K window title. So again, like I said before, user defaults work the same as property lists. We just have some kind of value, which is gonna be whatever the value is in our title text field, and we're gonna save that as the Windows title key for our user defaults. All right, so now we have all this implemented. The last real step to do is have some kind of default defaults for your user defaults. So a default value for when you initially have uh, start this application. So of course, um, if I was to run this application right now, we don't have any user defaults already predefined. So what I have to do is do something known as register defaults. So I have to register some default values for our user defaults. And this is very common. Uh, this is nothing um, new, I, I'm sure you know. Um, any application you run already has some kind of default value selected. I'm sure you didn't go and you know, turn all these on when you first went to Xcode. Xcode already had some default values that it figured most users would want. So we can also set up these default values for our own application. So where do we want to set this up? Well, a, a common place that we usually do this would be in something like the init method. But a common, a more common place, I should say, for 
NS user defaults is to do this in the initialize method. So if we just go ahead and say plus and then initialize, we use the plus sign because the initialize method is a class method. So what this means is that the app delegate class uh, is going to be initially, or the first thing that's going to be sent is the initialize method call or message call. And the initialize method is the first, uh, I should say message, but the initialize message is the first message ever sent to the app dele dele delegate class. So before anything else is ever called on the app delegate class, the initialize method will, or message will be sent to this object. So it's the first thing that ever gets run. So with that in mind, this means that uh, we can set up our, this is a great place to set up our user defaults because it means before anything else, uh, before we read any of these things down here, we know that the initialize is going to be called and we can set up our defaults here. So how can we register our defaults for our user defaults? Well, we can use the method. First, we ask our NS user defaults for its standard user defaults. And we use a nice method called register defaults, which takes an NS dictionary. So we can set up this NS dictionary with our default values. We'll just call them defaults. And we'll just say NS dictionary, dictionary with object. The object that we're going to be using here is uh, just some kind of initial value. So we'll say uh, maybe initial window title. And the key, of course, is going to be our K window title key, or our window title key. So with that, we now have some kind of defaults dictionary, and we want to register this dictionary for our standard user defaults. So what this method will do is say, well, if this key doesn't already exist in our user defaults, it's going to go ahead and register that. And so it'll set up for us a key with window title and a value of initial window. So since the initialize is the first thing that's ever sent to this object uh, before anything else, we're going to go ahead and uh, initialize these user defaults. So by the time the application is done launching, it can read these values that have already been set up here. And so we should get the initial window title whenever we first start this application before any user ever touches it. So we can go ahead. Uh, we are basically done with uh, setting up our user defaults for this. So we can go ahead and run this. And we can see that we get the initial window title right here. And we also get the initial window title in our text field because in our application did finish launch and we set both of these values here. We can change this to, uh, you know, new title. And we can change the title right there. And we can do this as many times as we want. Uh, happy days. There we go. And I can change the title like so. And so uh, whenever we go to quit this application, so make sure you don't hit the stop button or this will terminate the application immediately, which isn't what we want. We want this application to actually quit like normal applications do. So we can go ahead and quit it. And that will call the application will terminate message. And so uh, we should have saved all these default values. And so when we go ahead and run this again, you can see that we get happy days in our title right there. If I also change this uh, to anything else, maybe uh, user defaults are cool. And I quit this right here and I run it again. You can see since we initially we are saving the value of whatever is in the text field here, that's what's being saved. So when we open up the application again, without even hitting the change title button, it loads up whatever value was saved or set in this text field here. So anyway, that's how you can use NS user defaults to save whatever values you want in your application for preferences. So um, if you are curious though to where any of these things are saved, they're saved in your user's library folder. So the easiest way to get here in Lion anyway is going to your Go menu and then go to Folder. If you go to your user uh, home directory, which is the tilde top left button on your keyboard there under Escape, hit the slash and then library. That'll bring you to the library folder or your user's library folder. Then you can go to your preferences, uh, 
preferences folder right here scroll down and go to your company identifier for whatever application you're running so uh, for this when i first cre created this xcode project I created the company identifier as com.myName, which is Lucas, dot the project name, which is less than 40. And you can see that right here we have our uh, property list, which represents the user defaults. We have the window title as our key, which is that key that we were using in our application. And you can see the string that's saved for this key is user default are cool, which is what we last saved in our application. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions on using user defaults, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, and yeah, so please subscribe to the channel. More Coco tutorials are on the way with many more uh, interesting ideas coming up. Uh, new tutorials are uh, trying to be out every Sunday, so um, you know they might be anytime around Sunday, but uh, I do try to get at least one every single week from here on out. So um, you look forward to those uh, from here. So anyway, I will see you next tutorial.